Hi everyone, I want to show you guys how to do henna on wood. We're going to go through the various stages to finish a wood piece using henna. Uh, basically here, I'm in the middle of, of applying some henna right now. As you can see it's wet, not fully done, but I've done the top already. And it's a wood box, which you can find some of these wood boxes at the craft stores. So you can get a nice wood uh, boxes, picture frames, uh, anything in wood that's just natural like this, natural wood, you can find at uh, your local craft store. I have a few other boxes that are, that are done. They're already, well they're not completely done, they're almost done, but they basically have the henna done on, on, on it already. At least this top part right here, it's been done. This one is done as far as the henna designs go. I like the shape of this box in particular. Nice design. Keeping it modern with a nice floral trim all around. You can even pre-paint these boxes. You know, paint any color that you want. This is a circular box. Kind of opens just like this opening right here. Just like that. There's so many different shapes and boxes you can get. I really like this design, how it goes around. It flows really nicely. This is the first step. You're going to basically henna your box, and then from there, you're going to allow it to dry. So sometimes I let it dry in stages because, you know, if you're doing one side, you know, eventually, if you're trying to do all the sides, the one side's wet, you won't be able to, like, hold it properly. You can't really hold the box to continue doing the designs if it's wet on one side. So try to let uh, each section uh, dry, you know, uh, as much as possible before continuing on. I kind of like, I want to show you a little like design here that I've been doing. I like making like a bit of a border like this, just basically making a dot and dragging it out. And like I said, it's wet, so you have to really be careful where you put your hand. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Zoom in so you can see. All right. A dot and pull out. Pull it down here. And then for the bottom part right here, I'll use my finger to balance so I don't touch the wet henna and I'll do the same technique. And then I want to do the bottom as well. Along the bottom here will be nice. Let's make sure you can see that. Try to keep it as straight as possible. All right. So that's all done. This is what it looks like. Let's zoom back out. Right, so this is what this part looks like, and this is what the top looks like of this particular box. So yeah, I'm on a good roll here. I want to show you a few more uh, that I have upstairs. Alright, so I've put paper down, as you can see, so that uh, my henna boxes, you know, don't really stick to what's the table underneath. So from here is all these boxes are just henna that's been drying. I like this box. I just found this recently. It has a little mirror and a little sliding drawer. It's perfect. You just have to be really gentle when it hasn't been sealed as yet because the henna can easily flake off. Cute little heart box and tiny small boxes there. This one, I only found one small tiny box like this. I know this one's going to go fast. So what we do at this point usually is I'll fill it in with a little bit of glitter, which I'll show you. It's the glitter gel that uh, we carry, and I use that to fill in, you know, embellish it a little bit. You'll get to see what that looks like. Also, um, I want to show you this box is really pretty. Just this trim all the way around is really nice. But it's not finished. I have to fill it in the middle here. So these are all in the processing stage. What uh, you can use to apply the henna 
is like also with the either henna cones like I, I've been using or our um, jacker bottles or lure lock bottles you can use those you can also use old henna which is great so say you have some old henna cones or old henna powder old paste um, then you can use it and then you won't have to waste it you can do this with your your children it's a great idea to do with your kids nice activity and it's really simple and easy they can give them away as gifts to family you know something that they'll treasure you know you know for a really long time they really treasure this gift it's very very nice uh, nice idea. This is great for homeschooling parents that want to incorporate something a bit more traditional. You know, learn a traditional art form, but, you know, do it in a more, you know, modern way by using, you know, the, the wood and whatnot. And if you were to remove this actual henna paste, you would see underneath that it's actually stained because the, the henna I am using does still have dye, um, you know, dye power in it, you could say. So it has, uh, that, it still has color basically, so you can see it'll leave the mark of the henna design and it'll look like kind of stained. And uh, so some people like it like that as well. You can remove it. I, I personally like to just leave the henna paste on and then seal it. And I'll uh, show you how to do all of that as soon as we get to that stage. All right, we're back. Now that uh, the henna has dried on a lot of uh, these uh, henna boxes, I filled some of them in with uh, glitter already. As you can see, I do like the outlines of flowers and, and fill it in where I find it'll look nice. Fill it in into the paisleys. And there's a little bit on the front. On the sides, this one has it, you know, all, all around. Very beautiful. This one I like how the flowers filled in. Perfect amount of shine. Small, tiny little box. And turn it around. There you go. It's really nice. All right, so this one is just about done. So what I'm using to fill it is uh, a jacquard bottle that we have that, uh, there's glitter gel inside that we uh, have at Henna Sook. And there's a tip um, that I'm gonna be using. It's a metal tip, it's a jacquard tip, and it comes with uh, the glitter gels. This one is kind of like a holographic silver and I've decided that I want to embellish in these little flowers here. So I just squeeze a bit and fill it in. Like so. And you can only do this when once the hennas on the boxes have uh, dried. So it's probably been drying at least like overnight. And then the glitter, again, you can leave it for overnight or even it'll probably be ready because like the other parts of it are actually dry. As you can see where I'm touching, it's actually really dry over here. And just be careful that you press gently so that you don't get too much coming out. But uh, after this glitter gel is done, and I'm going to do it all around. Actually, I actually have a few flowers over here that I, I need to uh, touch up. But um, basically, once this is dry, then that's when you put the glue sealant onto it. And I'll show you that in a little bit. I just want to give you a sneak peek on some of the boxes that have been glittered. And they're just drying. This one is yet to be glittered. And this one as well. Here's one. Okay, got this one with this design. Another one with pink. pink uh, actually, that's this one right here has copper and uh, the ocean sp spray glitter. Some blue. And there's a little bit of silver in there. And this is again the copper with uh, the red. There's a few more, some tiny boxes, this one's really nice. 
These boxes actually have uh, mirrors when you open it up. You can see the mirror. And it has a little drawer that you can also like pull out. Yeah, a few others. I really like the ocean spray. It's a nice glitter. Stands out really well. Got the sun in this one. Yeah, hard to see that one. That one's really... This one's pretty. Alright, so we're almost done. We're getting there. So a lot of these boxes are now dry. And uh, the glitter is on most of all of them. And now I'm going to show you how to seal it. I'm going to be using uh, Mod Podge. And I use the, the glossy one because I just like uh, the finish. So I have a big bottle of that. And I got my brush. You know, to get the brush that you feel the most comfortable with. Uh, this one is going to be good for this, uh, this box right here. So I basically just dip a bit of the glue onto my brush. And then I'm going to brush the glue over. It will look white at first, but it will become clear. Gives it a really nice glossy finish. And just brush it on really nicely. Try to make sure you get all the areas because you want it to stay on you know, for a very long time. You don't want this to fall off. And when it's done properly, uh, none of this will ever fall off unless you're, you're really damaging it. It will really stay on for I've never actually, personally, I've never seen any of it ever come off personally. So just uh, try to do your brush strokes at, at least all in the same direction. Like that. All right, so like I said, getting into all those little, you know, cracks is going to take a little bit of time. So just take your time and get into every little spot, especially when it comes to henna. There's a lot of detail, so you need to really, you know, do it really well, do a good job. The glitter looks a little faded right now at this moment because the glue is coming out white right now. I know there's a lot of light, so hopefully you can see there how white it is compared to the finished product but as this dries it will become clear and we'll uh, come back to that in a moment. Okay, I just want to point something out as I'm uh, brushing on the glue all over this box. Sometimes people, um, I, when I've seen, when they've done decorative items with henna, they actually just put the glue in one area, let's say candles or boxes, whatever it is that you're using that you need this type of sealant to seal the henna on. Um, see how the glue is just in one area? If you leave it like that, you can see that one area will be glossy and the rest will be basically, you know, more plain and it's not attractive. It's, if you really want the piece to come out nice, you want people to really like it, spread the glue all over. Don't leave edges because they can see it. And you want to have a really nice product and you want a gift. If you're making this as a gift, you want it to look as nice as possible. So make sure that you spread it all over. All right, so there you have it. These boxes are all finished. They've been sealed and now they're dry. Take a look. Some really pretty ones that I made. This one even has a mirror and a little drawer. I gotta put the drawer back in that one. They're drying, as you can see, it's still drying over there. And all these little boxes. Really gorgeous designs. Well, I hope that uh, we've showed you how to make henna boxes and that it's been very helpful and that you'll share this either with your children, you know, family and friends. Give the gift to others of a personalized art piece. And if you have any questions, comments, please let us know. Thanks.